Hey guys, Bing here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to quickly uh, create a material with uh, using a, a Google Map, and so you can just create some you know, 3D uh, study or presentation with this. Uh, okay, so let's start first. Let me let's create a new project. Okay, so new project. And of course, you will need a map. You can you can uh, find some Google Map uh, on the Google Map. Maybe do a screenshot of the map with the scale. Okay, so I'll show you why. So now in the project, uh, in the floor plan or side plan, um, insert that uh, that uh, map. So let me just find it. So here I have this map I just uh, did. So it's a map of a school okay so here and also I include this scale as well so which I can use this to scale so first drag this map in your floor plan or side plan and then zoom to the scale and use select this map and use scale RE or you can find it here so scale RE Okay, and then pick first point uh, center of this here, and pick the, the next point, also center of this uh, here. Okay, and then because this is 10 meter, I'll just type in 10 meter and uh, enter. So now this map will be uh, quite close to the actual. Uh, size okay so so let let me try so for example this uh see it's 2.5 yeah close okay so now we have this map uh then create a floor floor okay and then create a rectangle from this end to this end okay and then we will need to use these two dimensions so i'm going to just uh, 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 screenshot this so later we can just find this dimension okay so finish this floor so now let's go to 3d view so of course this is a just a generic floor with no material so i'm going to just duplicate this one and and edit the material so I'm going to create a new material. I'll call it uh, maybe Google Map, okay? And then go appearance, and I'm going to just duplicate this asset first, and then click on this here, no image selected, okay? And then go find your um, image. So. Uh, so here, not not this one. This okay. So open. Okay. So we need to adjust this uh, the size of this map. So click on this time. Click on this image, and let's drag this down a little bit. So see this scale sample size. So first, uncheck the uh, this lock. Okay, and then we need to type in the size of this map. So we need to go back here and find the uh, the size. So it's two nine one zero seven nine point a two nine one zero seven nine point a and the other one. Let's go back. So this time it's 142631426388.3. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, looks about right. Okay, so down. And uh, um, I think okay, okay, and okay. So let's have a look. So change this to realistic. Looks like about right but you will see this this image stop here stop here and then repeat from so we need to adjust this image so 
what we're going to do is go to uh, floor plan again okay so edit this material so go to the floor and edit this material we're going to add a pattern okay so the reason we use the add this pattern is and we're going to use this pattern to adjust um, the offset okay so because it's easier to do it this way so let's create a new pattern so for example I'm going so make sure it's model okay make it 3 meter by 3 meter and uh, cross hatch 0 and type in 3 3 and okay okay and okay and okay and okay so now you will see now it's uh, you, you will see all the grids and I'm going to use WT so we have this image roughly here and uh, it looks like it moved as, as well but doesn't matter we will just we will adjust it okay so tab tab and select one of the law uh, of this pattern okay so now we need to uh, a little bit guess so I guess so if I hell when I unselect this floor you will see uh, this image this is visible here so it's about in the middle so tab select the pattern doesn't matter which one just need to select one of the line okay so an M V move and then roughly here I guess it's about uh, here okay so move from here and I'll just move this to the edge okay one of the end point and then let's answer escape let's have a look okay so we closer but we still need to let's have a look uh, maybe this maybe we need to move this to this to the left so let's do it again tab select the pattern uh, roughly move maybe here to here escape uh, I think it's closer so let's look on yeah this edge maybe one we need to move this and and maybe uh, hang on, maybe two grids so tab tab again so I'll move this from here to here so escape uh, I think oh hang on still looks like one grid so maybe we will move this to left escape yep so looks like it's uh, so good down see so now this uh, this floor with this material so uh, you, you, you will be able to um, use this as you know like uh, a base you can model some massing you can you can even uh, go if I go to ground floor if I change to realistic sorry, realistic so of course you will see this floor okay so this is floor uh, I think that's an image somewhere or temporary hardware floor yeah this is image our hard our EH our hardest image okay so HR so this is the floor okay so you can model something on this floor you can even do some uh, quick you know camera view so you create some uh, start uh, uh, sorry change this to realistic so you will see roughly you can get some idea of you know the site so okay so I think this is quite uh, good um, you can also yeah I, I tried because I use Lumion for my render I can once we create this floor uh, once we import this into Lumion we can we can, we can see this image on the floor so as well so we don't need to adjust the material um, I think that's quite useful so that's it uh, if you have better uh, method please let me know I, I believe you can I think you can use some you know like SketchUp or Google map you can automatic um, download a map but I'm not very uh, 
familiar about that so please let me know if you know how to do it thank you for watching and I'll see you next time so let me just quickly show you you can draw a wall so in the 3d view you can do a wall follow that so and then quickly create some you know like a uh, nothing study oops sorry go back yeah something like that so okay thank you bye see you next time